doesn't look too dark. I don't know where my little filming camera went. I had something else planned to do today, but I got a package that I ordered, didn't come for free or anything, in the mail from Nude Sticks. I ordered this last Friday, Friday or Thursday, and the products in here I wasn't gonna buy. I just kind of had them in my cart in case like a sale came or whatever. And when you log into Nude Sticks, you can earn rewards. So if you set up an account and you follow them on, like on Instagram and Facebook and they have a whole bunch of other things if you refer a friend. And so I didn't realize that they had, I just didn't pay attention to them really. And they have this little scale and you can, I got this all for free all of these products for free so super excited really happy oh wow they gave me a lot of samples what's this oh new sticks concealer so i got that as a sample i got the hyaluronic acid and bergamot cleanser because i wanted to try a new cleanser i got sun kissed the bronzer and I also got one of their lip treatments. Um, it's a lip primer SPF 30. I don't know what lip primer means, but anyways, so we're going to do very, it's been very hot in Victoria. It's like, it was 30 degrees a couple of days ago. So I've been out riding my bike, going for walks, got a little bit of tan, my fake tan washed off, but we're gonna do a bronzy, summary look mostly like my other videos and just yeah see where the makeup takes us i'm gonna focus here but i've been experimenting with making iced coffees and i just use a mocha pot like i don't have a uh, espresso machine they're very expensive mocha pots are expensive too though it's okay anyways so let's get started i am going to use my mac strobe cream i am trying to use it all up soon because i have had it for a while it's just it's a lotion i really like also using it as a highlight just has a bit of a gold shift they have other colors as well and i like to focus that here it has an interesting smell i think it smells like daisies like it smells a little interesting I don't know if I want to start with eyes first or skin. My favorite for the summer, winter, fall, spring, MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. You have to give it a good shake. And as the summer goes on, the shade C1 is too light for me. Um, unless I add a lot of bronzer, which I usually do. But I did see on TikTok, I saw a woman, she knows a lot about like the chemistry behind makeup and all that. She's great at explaining how things are made, why the formula is this way. And she said to buy your foundation, but then to get it two shades darker in the same um, undertone, so neutral. And then just add a few drops to your normal foundation and then as you maybe get more tan throughout the summer, you can customize your foundation to become a little darker. MAC always has really good sales on. Not all the time, but when they have good sales, like it's a good sale, you know, 20% off a certain product or $10 off a certain product. So I'm gonna wait and look to get that. And then it really sinks into the skin nicely. And I find it's really undetectable. If you really just push it into the skin, take the time to layer it where you want more coverage or add your concealer. But this was my first skin tint. Like I, I always used to wear um, maybe more matte, like the Estee Lauder double wear. I wore Fenty, which wasn't a good look. You know, when a product is building up in your smile lines in your early 20s and you don't really even have smile lines, you know, not the product for me. I'm gonna go in with a more 
medium coverage concealer. The other one that I've been really liking is the Glow Wish, um, but I just want a bit more coverage on these pimples. More discoloration. I, I like to go a little around my nose and boop, boop. And this might be too light for me for the summer too, so maybe I'll pick up a drugstore concealer because concealers are very expensive. I think this will be good, but it is sheer, so if I want more coverage, it's just not going to work. But we are going in with a new bronzer too, so it might be all right to kind of lighten up certain areas of the to add a little bit under the eyebrow too. It just ties it in the whole eye area nicely, I find. And then some nice bats. I'm just going to take off with um, a dry beauty sponge. Help melt, blend, absorb any extra product and because it's summer i want hydration mac fix plus Whew. to further melt everything in i'm just gonna let that dry down on my skin the refi what is this deep brown brow tint is so natural Nude Sticks also has a really nice um, brow product. It's, I believe it's just an eyebrow gel. It lasts forever. I, I swear I had it for a year and I used it for, I used it a lot. I uh, have dye in my brows right now, so you might not be able to see the difference too much. Extremely light hold, like they do kind of fall. So if you have thicker eyebrows, I don't know, try it. And if you do have thicker eyebrows, comment below if you've tried this and if you like it or Refi's other product. I love their brow products or you more like benefit. Anyways, <laughs> it just the product that makes me happy. Very minimal, but does its job. So like get it in there. Those little hairs and transfer onto your I don't know if you can see this transfer onto your skin very much either I know some do like their the benefit I believe does and that's part of why people like it is because it makes their whole eyebrow look thicker oh so good okay I feel like I rushed through everything because I was excited about these products okay well it's amazing. yeah that's amazing you always get two little stickers too. I, I wish you guys need to come out with some new stickers though. I've gotten these in a lot of packages. So let's like, let's make some cute new stickers. Jamie Page does awesome stickers. You should do it with her. This is the new face cleanser that I wanted to try because I like my Neutrogena one, but I think there's room for improvement. My last video, I'll hopefully be able to figure out how to link it in this video. But I was saying in that video, there's some room for improvement with my skincare routine. I do get hormonal acne, so I know that's like something on the inside that you have to fix, but I think the products that you're putting on your face will help once that acne comes, you know? And so I just wanted to try a, a different hydrating cleanser that maybe cleans a little better. I used this when it first came out, I really liked it, but just didn't repurchase, you know? Sometimes it's nice to try new things. They always use a cleansing balm first and they actually sent a little sample of their cleansing balm. You can choose two samples when you order from their website. This works so well, I really enjoy it. Um, it does sting a little bit around the eyes or it's my mascara, either or. So I prefer this on my face and then to maybe even use a separate eye makeup remover for your eyes. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try these. Okay, in the tin, we have Nudie's Matte All Over Face Bronze Color. This is, says Face, Lip, and Eye Sunkissed. 
I know a couple of videos ago I did say that I wasn't gonna buy this and to use products that I already had, but it was free. I don't even know if I said that in the beginning. I think I got sidetracked by coffee. I used a majority of my points to get all of this for free. I only paid for shipping and I got um, expedited shipping, so it was $15, but free. Otherwise, I don't think I would have gotten these. I would have had to gone through Bondi Bay, which is here. See, well love, no writing. Fresh new one, Bondi Bay, which I really, I do enjoy. It's definitely more summer color, has a lot of warmth to it. And even though it says matte, like there's still a little bit of skin shimmer to it. So that's sun kissed and I believe nude sticks. Oh, it's so different. Like I put this on earlier and I saw more of a brown tone. So this is different, different. I'm excited. So I'm just going to take a little slanted brush. She's kind of clean. I do like the tins. I see a lot of people saying they're wasteful. I don't know, you must be buying a lot of nude sticks to have like a wasteful amount of these. I like using them when I travel to put either like jewelry or, you know, hair clips and, or vitamins, you know, whatever. Um, and they're also good because you have a little mirror, right? I don't know, I like them. And it's actually a really good mirror. Uh, so I am going to dot, 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 blend it out all over. I noticed that people on um, TikTok are talking about more of a natural sunburnt look, which is kind of interesting. None of us want to get sunburnt, right? But faking it with makeup, and isn't this the perfect shade to do it? It, it does quite look like blush, but then on my forehead, like it's still really nice. Just the nose, we'll do the other side. There's always one stray hair. What products do you use to blend out your um, blushes or bronzers. I quite like this because it doesn't get everything everywhere. It's a bit more of a controlled blend, but I do like more for powder. Use something like this. Is there a brand that you are loyal to? I do like MAC. They have great brushes. This is Refer 04. Um, I bought this I think during Black Friday, and they were 50% off. If you're in Canada, the website does show American dollars. So, you know, be conscious of that when you're purchasing. But I love these. They're so nice. It, it looks just like a sun-kissed glow. I can't believe how different this is though. And I use Picante on my cheeks. I'm just gonna load it up on my finger and concentrate it on the apples. There's always cat hair migrating on my face. And these colors last. If you use um, like a, also a good setting spray, but they just, they last very well. Feeling good. I like this look. It's always nice when new makeup works. And I've, I've had this since it came out, like two years ago. Look how much product I still have. Maybe it will be my mission to get through on this. Nude Sticks also has minis. So those are also a great option if you don't go through a lot. I kind of wish they came out with minis with everything, but I want to continue with the bronze. Oh, perfect, it's already sharpened. So I'm going to go in with MAC Costa Riche. It's a red brown, so it'll look nice with the bronzer. Um, I'm going to start on the bottom, bring it up.
get it as close as I can to the lash line so I don't have to blend too much there. Tapping it out, blending it down, around, wherever you want. I used to be so scared of doing eyeliner like this. I felt like I could never make it look good. But it's, it's not about the perfection, I think, with this. It's about like blending it nicely. Mm -hmm. Adding more color when you need it. Lifting it more up when you need it rather than out. Now I'm making the other eye match. Here's something that sounds like a fire crackle. It's just my candle, so don't don't worry. It's um, Mala the brand. Their spring scents were so fantastic. It's the first time purchasing from them. Mimosa, it's my favorite. It's so beautiful. They're pricier candles, but they, um, they've been lasting a really long time, so I'm very happy. And I'm just gonna do a really light coat. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational, yeah. If you like listening to podcasts, there's a beauty podcast and they're two magazine editors out of Toronto. Um, they do podcasting full time, but they had on the makeup artist who did Sophia Ritchie's makeup for her wedding and they were talking to her about products and how she does makeup and all this. So it was interesting to listen, but anyways, the reason why I talk about that is because I picked this up because she said she used it. I like it. Nothing will beat Mac Stack for me. I love it, but it's also expensive. So, <laughs> you know, you go through mascara so quickly too, right? So I just don't want to give myself an eye infection. What mascaras do you use? You go for more of a lengthening, volumizing, all of the above. Find a lot of people on YouTube. Their eyelashes are already like so amazing. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't the look I wanted. A little spear there. If they start to get clumpy like that, I take my eyebrow brush and use this side. And I'll just wiggle it in there. Try not to ruin the whole look. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Did I close that? Closed that, so I'm gonna take my hair down. Listen, it's hot and I closed the patio door. I turned the fan off, so all you would hear is the fan. Whisper a guilt on the high point. Eyebrow. I think I started doing this after um, there's a bunch of videos with Rihanna when her makeup line first came out and she did that C. And it just looks really pretty. I'm not going to use any powder today because I'm not doing too much so it shouldn't move around. Another sip of coffee. So again, it's in a biodegradable little tube here. This is the 30 SPF natural tint for your lips. I've been riding my bike a lot and I don't know if I already said this. Um, so I just wanted something on my lips to help protect them. I wore the Rare Beauty lip tint. They call it a lip oil, but that's been up for discussion. Um, and it really dried my lips out and my lips have been very dry ever since, even, even using all of my really moisturizing lip balms. It's been hard, so I obviously I had to get into it right away. Um, it is a little tube. I'm, I'm happy I got it. I used points to get it. Very like natural rosy color. It has a pretty good opacity to it. Oh, that'd be pretty as blush actually. Just. Like, wouldn't that, that'd be a nice blush. Their peptide lip treatment supposed to be really nice too. Oh. 
spreads very easily. It feels like nothing. Very pretty. Oh, I like this color. It's not as shiny as I thought it was going to be, but I really like it. There's no scent. It's reef safe, um, green algae, polyphenol, non nano zinc, and it's reef safe. So I think this is a good product to pick up if you need something. Um, SPF for your lips. It doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. Because I've tried the Nivea one and it, it it was sunscreeny. Ah, very small. So it says new screen lip primer SPF 30 multitasks as a light and hydrating mineral lip base and primer that can be worn under any lip color to protect against broad spectrum UVA, UVB, reducing the visible signs of lip aging. Well, it's also like to protect you, right? So you could just add stuff on top. Very nice. What do you think about the products that I got? Have you been converted to nude sticks? They've gotten very popular in the last little bit, especially from Sophia Ritchie's wedding. I believe Kylie Jenner was using them recently. I like how they interact with people online. I like how they've set up this points program, obviously. It was $80. This would have cost me $80 and I got it for free. Very happy. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited with my products. I'm just gonna go on with the rest of my day. So I will see you next week.